Hi, I'm Julianne Ash. I'm the Director of Midwest Educational Therapy and Associates. And we have a guest today, Lauren Sabo from Sabo Law. Lauren is a former intent, multi-intensive special education teacher who retired, went back to law school, and is now a special education lawyer specializing from K through PhD. Yep. Thanks, Julianne. Yeah, my name is Lauren Sabo, and I am a education special education attorney. Um, I represent kids and families, so pretty much in any any issue that would touch um, education. So typically, you know, academics, special education, those type of things, but also um, sports law or, you know, residency, if people move, things like that, um, as well as discipline issues that sometimes carry over into the court system as well. well one of the topics that has been just exploding on the parent groups and that we're hearing from our, because kids come to us because they struggle with reading comprehension or, or being able to process the reading, is this dyslexia. Mm -hmm. And we hear this, there's this dyslexia law. Can you clarify that a little bit? Like when is it going to start? Sure. Who does it? Tell us a little bit about that. Sure, yeah. So um, in 2021, there was a House bill, you know, through um, Ohio that came out and actually changed in, um, the dyslexia laws. And the idea is that, you know, we want to offer more robust support for students, but also screening. Because we, we recognize that in, in the state of Ohio, we weren't necessarily doing a great job of screening, especially our younger kids. But then mm -hmm. they're getting, you know, into school and they're really struggling um, and they're not getting the supports that they need. Right. So when would, when does this bill actually, is it in effect now? When is it going into effect? Sure. Um, so technically the bill actually doesn't start in the sense of um, schools being required to screen. So it will start in the 2024, 2025 school year. So, you know, still a little bit of time before it officially starts, although a lot of schools are, are figuring out what they're doing now, right? And right. so they're kind of getting their things in place, but um, in, in you know, the 2024, 20, 25 school year, what will happen is the schools will be required to screen um, K through three for mm -hmm. dyslexia, and then uh, grades four and five, if, you know, basically, you know, they, they're struggling on the- <laughs> The third grade reading guarantee, that, right. Yep, yeah. or if parents request it, or if a teacher sees they're, they're struggling, um, you know, then they would go through that screening process. Um, it's called this, this tier one process. So we're basically trying to catch kids when they're younger and then, you know, put the right supports in place if they need to have an IEP, um, you know, depending on what their needs are. So what kinds of things should I do as a parent to like say, I kind of have this sense that my child is struggling with their reading. Now, obviously if they've come to us and we're going, oh, you know, this is starting to look like we've, we've got a, a, a dyslexia as well as maybe uh, reading comprehension types of things because they all tend to loop together. Yep. Um, what is a parent could do that, that would, how would they approach the school? Right, yeah, I wouldn't wait. So I would, you know, immediately I tell everybody, put it in writing. Um, so I would put your concerns in writing. It doesn't have to be a long email, but basically what you want to say is, you know, hi, I'm the parent of X or guardian of, of X student. Um, I have concerns that they, you know, they might have dyslexia or some type of reading um, disability. And then I would actually at that point go ahead and make the request for them to evaluate. I wouldn't okay. wait for the screening. I wouldn't wait, you know, um, that's all great. And I'm glad that, that the law is moving and changing, but um, I wouldn't wait. So I would actually request that the school start the process. Um, and there are specific dyslexia screening tools that the school can use in assessment to figure out if it's that, again, if it's maybe a specific learning disability in a certain area, what, what is going on there? But the school psychologist should be involved, potentially a speech language therapist, right? Um, there's a whole team of people for that student's IEP team that you'd want to kind of get the ball rolling because it does take time. Okay. So then basically what you're saying is earlier is better than later. Absolutely. Right. Yep. But put it in writing. Put it in writing. I get families, you know, who unfortunately will maybe call, um, on occasion I'll, I'll argue that a text message is, is in writing and it is, but you know, un unfortunately, unless you're really putting it in writing, that is going to trigger the school's timeline for them to respond to you and okay. to get the process started. And they, they should know that. You know they know their timelines and and for them to be in compliance so yeah you know unfortunately just kind of mentioning it to the teacher or something I just feel like it's not enough so if um, who should I send my email to yep great question um, I think you know depending on the student's age you can absolutely put their teacher on it you know if they're a little older you don't necessarily need to put all you know, ten, uh -huh, of their teachers. ten of the teachers right? um, but definitely if you know who the special education coordinator or director is for the school or district that person is going to be your go-to or there's usually a 504 um, plan coordinator but if not, just the principal or any admin, any administrator, um, and what they will do is then they know who they should pass it along to. 
So now what do I do with a middle schooler? We, we have students coming in and a lot of our students come in and they're struggling with reading comprehension and written output. Now that's not, that that's another component, but right. a lot of times they're having trouble with the writing because they're not getting mm. the reading or there yes. might be a dyslexia. So I have a middle schooler or a high schooler. Yeah. What do I do there? They haven't been screened and yeah. the law is covering younger children, right? Right. So for high school, it'd be the same thing though in terms of at that point, you're just going to directly go and ask for an evaluation under the IDEA, mm -hmm. right? And so you want to say that in your email. Again, it can be a couple sentences. You're going to put the reason why, because they're really struggling in this class, or they're, I can tell, you know, they're reading and they're writing, they're really struggling, and then that's going to trigger that process with the school called an ETR, and that's the evaluation team report. So that's going to be kind of that initial um, assessment that the school's going to go through and do all kinds of assessments. And you know, if you really, if you're not concerned about other areas, I tell families you don't necessarily have to have the school assess, you know, 27 different things. You know, right. if your student, um, maybe they're just struggling with the actual like writing component in the sense of you know making a good paragraph, but their their actual handwriting is okay. You know, maybe right. they don't need an assessment for for fine motor skills, right? Because right. we also don't want to pull them from class and have them you know, go through all these assessments that we know aren't con areas of concern. Sorry, right. Mm -hmm. We want to stay targeted. In yep. other words, okay. Mm -hmm. Lauren, this is great. There's been so much talk about the dyslexia law. People are kind of like up in the air. This is great information, and thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, would, why don't you tell folks where they can find you? Sure, yeah, you can find me, uh, Lauren Sabo, and um, I'm at www.studentlawohio.com. And you can reach us on the web at Midwest Educational Therapy and Associates, metaoh.org. Thanks so much for watching.